back to Your Money Live. Well, the last thing you'd expect a fitness model to endorse is ice cream, but health fanatics are raving about one brand of guilt-free indulgence. It's called Halo Top. Originating in LA, the low-sugar, low-calorie ice cream is now worth $2 billion, the company that is. COO and president of Halo Top Creamery, Doug Bowden, joins us now. Um, Doug, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, look, it sounds too good to be true. How did it all come about? <laughs> <laughs> it always, you know, healthy ice cream that tastes great. Yeah, nobody believes it, so yeah. you have to try it to believe it. But um, my business partner actually uh, started it in his home kitchen. Uh, the whole concept was we want to eat ice cream. We want to eat a lot of ice cream and not hate ourselves for it. So it was that basic. We weren't thinking about starting a company or anything like that. And um, yeah, he started it in his home kitchen and then said, wow, this actually tastes pretty good. There could be something here. So what's the secret to doing that? How do you, yeah. you know, what, what do you leave out to so make it still taste good? The, and, the main thing is we cut most of the sugar. So we use things like stevia, if you've heard of that, which is, is, is plant-based and comes from a leaf. Um, and then, you know, you get creative. You skim milk where you can, egg whites where you can, that kind of stuff. So fast forward today, it's a, a hugely successful business. Um, what about your fan base, your kind of uh, your market? How much, how quickly did you get to know them in terms of what sort of flavors they might like and very, channels to buy it? They're, they're very loud. Are very, they? Very, <laughs> very passionate. Very passionate, and we uh, we really pride ourselves. We grew up kind of uh, with Instagram, the company did, um, so we we're, we're very social media focused, and and we really want to know what they want, and that's how we start our innovation pipeline. So you've been in Australia for a couple of years. How did you start here and, and what's been the growth since then? Yeah, so interestingly, Mez, who's our CEO in Australia, he reached out to us in 2015 and over the course of about six months, nine months, we worked out a deal where he could bring it to Australia and launch us. So we launched in 2016 and a couple hundred independents. Uh, Woolies came on in 2017 and then Coles in 2018. So this is just a, a retail play through shops that we might go into and get our groceries. You don't go down the street and pop into a, you know, one of your ice creameries. That it's, it's all through supermarkets and other retail? That's right. We sell wholesale to the supermarkets and then they retail it. So is it a cheap price point or is it expensive? Are you up there with the luxury products? or So it's market? not quite as, as, as expensive as Ben & Jerry's, which is pretty high here. Um, but no, it, it's a premium product, but you know, it, we, we want it to still be affordable so you know, everybody can buy it. One of the interesting things, um, you know, looking at it on the shelf, is that it has the calorie count uh, very predominantly placed right there on the front of the uh, of the packaging. What was the thinking there? Yeah. So again, we were kind of the first ice cream to do this, and we really wanted to immediately communicate, hey, what is this? And the biggest thing is, you know, for a third or a quarter of the calories, you can eat the whole tub, and that's that's what we were trying to do. And and has that been the biggest hook? Do you think? Yeah, I think low calorie and then high protein, low sugar. But the low calorie, that's number one, I think. Because yeah. if we're being honest with ourselves, we do end up eating the whole tub, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> we, <laughs> I just don't have that. Who eats two spoonfuls? So. No, exactly. But, it's but just mean. But this broader health um, health food space is definitely growing. Uh, do you worry at all about competition in that area? Yeah, I mean, again, you see it across all categories, right? Low calorie, low sugar, high protein. But um, I, I think we just have to focus on what we do. We led in this category. We have to continue to lead. And if you start worrying about what everybody else is going to do, then you'll you'll mess it up yourself. Uh, we touched on it a bit earlier, but um, you're using Instagram and, and sort of harnessing influencers of to get the product out there. Who, who are you helping sort of push the product and how, how does it cut through? Yeah, so for us, again, we, we don't pay any of them. So what we do is we'll, we'll send them free product, but it's we really want it to be organic. So we want them to actually authentically be fans of the brand, be fans of the product and, and want to share it themselves. So for us, we really just try to target people in the health and wellness space, the fitness space, you know, kind of that core customer who's looking for those healthier options. And a lot of them would pull the product apart, wouldn't they? That. They'd course. be looking at all the ingredients and wanting to know exactly what oh, yes. goes in it. And oh, so yes. you're pretty confident that that ingredient yes, so it's, comes up clean? It's clean label, um, it, you know, clean label, clean nutrition, and it actually tastes good. So, yes. When you've got a product like that and your company's doing well, obviously you get noticed by other companies in the space. In fact, last year it was reported that Unilever um, was close to buying Halo Top. Uh, can you tell us about that process and whether or not that's still on the cards? As, as much as I detest the term, I, I, that was fake news. Was it? Uh, oh. yeah, it was, yeah. So we were, uh, we were not in talks with them at the time. We, there was no deal on the table and, um, you know, we're not, it, we're privately held, so we can't say we're a $2 billion company. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but is it nice to be spoken about in those sort of circles? It, it, it's very flattering when, you know, you're mentioned <laughs> with Unilever or Nestle or these other big players, absolutely. Do you think that that, like, I mean, speculating here, but do you think in the longer term, 
that would be a logical thing for you to be fielding offers from companies like that? Yeah, I mean, I think we've been approached, don't get me wrong, um, but I think it's, you know, you can take the company public, uh, you can stay private, or you can do a kind of a private transaction like that. And I think all options are on the table for us. Right now, we just, it took a while to get here and it was very hard, so we're, we're, just, we're just trying to enjoy the ride now and have, have a little bit of fun with it. What is your most likely option from here, though? To do, we actually don't know. So, I mean, it, it could be, right now we can only think about six to 12 months down the road, so I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> and, and Australia's keeping you busy at the moment, I, I take it. Australia's <laughs> keeping us busy at the um, moment. You yeah. mentioned there about a bit about the journey. Um, any challenges that came up along the way that you just weren't expecting? Yeah, 100%. I mean, it, it, we were both lawyers, uh, so we had no experience in food. Um, so you, you can imagine that uh, yeah, there was a lot of learning and, and a lot of mistakes made along the way. So uh, the first three years we called the dark years, but once we got through that, um, we, we finally got to kind of this point of success, and it's been fun. Would you diversify the product at all, or would you just stay with ice cream as your mainstay? Yeah, 100%. So you'll see some news coming out later this year where we're going into new categories with the brand. Because once you have the brand, where else can you take it? You know, it can be a platform brand for other, other categories, other products. So it'll be really exciting to see where we take it next. I hate to put you on the spot. Go for it. Can you give us any exclusives on what we might be able to see there from Halo Top? I can say you will have Australian specific flavor. So we're really big on localizing the brand. Like we know we started in the US, but we very much want to be an Australian brand here. So you'll see Australian specific flavors come out this year, which will be fun. And you've landed here in summer, so you probably get a feel for the fact that we eat a lot of ice cream. So um, you do. you've it's come the, to the right place. It's the second most per capita of any country in the world, Australia. You've got to get to number one. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta now we'll be US skinny today. ice cream eaters as well. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Uh, Doug, thank you very much for taking us thank through you for uh, what's been going on at Halo Top. Much appreciated.